What's going on, y'all? The NCZ3 here, and I'm so glad you stopped by. That's right, you Milwaukee's! No me you to spend some of your quality time to hang out with me today because we are going to be covering the uh, the battlegrounds, the real battlegrounds, whatever you want to call it. Um, I call it the uh, battlegrounds of fake money, basically. And so, what I what do I mean by that, right? It is no like surprise. It's no shock. It's it's no secret. Is what I'm trying to say here. That literally 99% of the people you are seeing right now, my computer's not lagging. The server itself is lagging. Like, I have a beast of a fucking computer, and literally, it is insane right now because there's so many players here that are really super high in might and all that good stuff. But, anyways, let's get back to this uh, secret stuff, right? It is no big secret, guys, that the 99% of the people here are on that Chinese fake money. And, oh, what do you mean, VNN? That's a lie. That's da da da, bro. Look. Just Google hacked Apple gift cards and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because literally 99% of these people are on Apple devices because, well, they get about, um, what is it, like like a $300 gift card or $200 gift card for the price of about $3. You know, they'll, they'll get a gift card. Anyways, just Google it. You guys can do all the back research yourselves. I've done it several times already. And so... This is probably one of my most unfun times to cover the game, and I'll be honest with you guys, because it's literally the king of who's got the most fake money, because, like, literally, once you get past, like, let's say a billion might, there's really nothing else left in the game. I don't believe for one second, yeah, I'm kind of complaining right now, guys, I'm sorry, I'll get into what I'm trying to talk about here in a bit, right? And so... You cannot tell me that there's this many multi-millionaires that play this game. Literally, I don't buy it for one second. So how are they doing it, right? How are these guys doing it, bro? All I'm saying here is either they live on a ramen noodle diet with no children, no bills, no nothing, and they're able to afford things like this, or um, they're on that Chinese fake money. And I'm, I'm more inclined to believe the latter on this one, which is... Chinese fake money. So um, there's, I know there's legit guys like Pandora, Bren Chong, um, a couple other ones to mention like Shorty Duop. They're like legit billion might players. Like those guys, they're legit and they're yeah they're out there. But there's not as many as you think there is. And you know you're wondering how do these, um, how does a new kingdom all of a sudden have a billion might player in it, bro? And T4 and all that stuff, right? Within like a day or two. Well, I'm just gonna throw it out there, guys. There is not enough resources literally that you can gather on an entire kingdom full to support one player to t4 that fast there's just not you would need the entire kingdom to do it and the kingdom would have to be full and sending you all the resources right it's just not possible it's physically not possible because there's time constraints but anyways um yeah right now my understanding and i'm sorry for the bitch session guys okay i'm sorry but it's just it kind of upsets me because i wish there was something that they would do to segregate that. To be honest with you guys, I wish there would be something to segregate the Chinese fake money, you know, because those guys are ruining the game. To be honest with you guys, right? They're ruining the game. Why? Like, well, you're just complaining. You're a crybaby, bro. I'm not a crybaby. First off, I trap, I trap millions of T4 on a weekly basis. Millions of T4, right? And I and I get somewhere in the ballpark range of about 30, 30 million kills, at least at least fourteen million kills a week on my main. Where's your main? I don't play it, all right? It's just, I play it sometimes, but most of the time, I just stay under a bubble, bros. Uh, maybe I'll find a passion to play it again sometime in the future. But anyways, let's continue down the road, right? I wish there was a way to segregate this where they could have the, like, the nationalities, right? Like, have those guys in China play all by themselves. And I can guarantee you that you'll see nothing but the Billionite players leave, and there'll only be a few legitimate Billionite players that are, like, legit legit. And then the game will be totally different. It'll be much more enjoyable. But the reason why IGG's not doing that is because, well, it encourages players like me, like you, like others to spend money to keep up with those players that spend maybe, I don't know, I think I calculated it out to be, if they spent $1,200, they could max, they can completely max out a champion set to gold, right? And you would have so many gems that you would just buy a bunch of gold boxes um, to fill up those, uh, those, uh, those items. But anyways, this guy right here, the, um, the Guan Yu Cien, literally... Um, has defended this for a couple of times now, and they're using just a full set of champions gear. The, the idea is, 
is that Bren Chong is helping the um, K250 or whatever the guy's name is. Where is he at? Um, BCT? No. Where is he at? I'm, I'm sorry. I should have came correct and had him targeted to start off with. Because I got Oh, here we go. It's Mark K... Mark 250, Mark something or the other. Anyways, um, because the item, the... The item up for grabs is always going to be, um, like, randomized, basically, right? The Empress Horde, it's another helmet again, right? So, first it was the shield, now it's a helmet. Maybe next time it'll be the weapon. You know, make no mistake, guys. These items are unbelievably overpowered. Like, we're talking 40% army attack, 40% army HP, minus defense to your opponent, and a couple other stats. I forget the actual couple of stats that it offers, but if you had a full set of that, bro, you would have like a 1,000% army attack. And so, of course, Bren Chong's going to get his, and then everybody else can get theirs. But here's the way this game is shaping out to be, right? Maybe you guys don't agree with me, but this is kind of ruining the game. And what I mean by ruining the game is it's not allowing people to be people. They're being forced into um, alliances and or like submission, basically. Otherwise, they're just kind of shit out of luck. And what, I, what do I mean by that? What, what do you mean by that, VNN? I can do whatever I want, whatever I want. Well, okay. So here's the deal. A to Z is basically pacifying everybody. They're pacifying the game. And what do I mean by that, right? Well, there are, they're making huge alliances with all the big top guilds, right? And anybody who opposes them, they wore them down, basically, right? And so, like, JVT, um, M44, all those guys, they're, they're, they're fighting the good fight to keep it open, right? Open. Right? And what do you, like, what do you mean? Get to the fucking point. Okay, fam. When, what happens... When all the top guilds unite to each other and they only war people who are trying to war other people. What happens? Well, the inevitable. The game just locks up. Because if your kingdom is deemed like, you know, uh, a threat or um, an aggressive kingdom or whatever the case may be, right? So, I mean, it's a good thing if you've got a bunch of bullies in your guild and you're like, I want to play Farmville! Ah! Right? If you want to play Farmville... That's totally up to you, fam. But that's basically the direction they're trying to put the game into is Farmville. Because with nobody to fight, and if you try to fight, they're just going to, you know, all the big guilds are going to pour in on you and then basically zero everybody out. It's no, it's no mystery, bro. You can zero a billion might player if they're offline for any reason, like this guy right here. If he's offline... You just feed him 30 liters and rally, 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 rally. He's going to die eventually, right? And so that's basically what happens. If these guys watch him defend again. I'm going to laugh. Like, watch him. Yeah, oh, no, they finally got it this time. And so pro tip of the day, guys, in case you guys are curious, because I know I'm all over the place because this is crazy. It's madness right now. If you guys, you guys are curious, how, how are they doing this, right? How do they prep these rallies up so well? Well, step one. Cut a hole in the box. Step two, put your junk in the box. And step three, make her open the box all around the world. Put your dick in a box. Anyways, so what are they doing? Okay, they start the rallies. The people that who own the who own the fort get a notification. A rally's being started. Okay, here we go. These guys are blind rallying, and right now they're filling the fort up. So. Um, essentially what's happening is these guys right here, the, um, uh, LCC, they're, they're blind rallying. ATZ has already started a rally. BRR started a rally right here, as you can see right there, right? And these guys right now, the, um, the LCC guys are filling the fort up. But what they do is that they, that, that there's not a rally being planned right away. They empty the fort out, wait till a rally starts. And just before it can hit, they fill it up with a composition that's kind of mysterious, right? So that's what they're doing to hide all the compositions. Like, they're literally just hiding it, right? So BRR, Zero Rex is going to rally. Maybe he might smoke it. Okay, he got it. And then what's going to happen right now is um, BRR is going to recall all their guys back really quickly. They're going to recall all their guys back really quickly and then fill the fort back up once our rally is going to hit it, okay? Watch, just watch. You're going to see them pour out. Take so Romains right here, taking his troops out. Other people are going to take their troops out as well just before rally can hit. But here we go. This is a BCT right there rallying, and maybe BRR doesn't have the time to, to bring a force back out. So anyways, it, it's kind of complete madness right now. 
if you're wondering how they did it last time, that's exactly what they did. And that's how the um, M44 guys, the twin turbo, got the got the first set. Is that when they were getting rallied, they would empty the Ford out, and then they'd learn the composition of that rally. They'd scout the guy making the rally. They'd scout the guy so they could find out what troop composition they had. And so, like, for instance, right? Zero Rex led a rally, okay? They would scout Zero Rex and find out what troop composition he's actually using. And then he would, uh, and then they would um, empty the fort out. And before that rally could hit, what are they going to do? They would fill the rally up with the counter, right? They'd fill the, I mean, the, the rally up. They'd fill the fort up with the counter units, and then they'd make a wedge or, or a phalanx in regards to that, right? And so if you guys are curious how these guys are doing it and how it's so fast-paced, bro, first off, they're all on comms, okay? They're all on comms, and so there's no typing. They're all on comms, um, all that good stuff. And so these guys, they have all the resource, uh, all the resource dudes back here. If you're wondering why am I not trapping, because I, I was saying that maybe I'll think about it, bro. Literally, I would have to pour it in on these spots right here, right? These spots right here, you can't shield. You don't, you will not see anybody over here shielded. My bad, my bad. You will not see anybody here shielded because you can't. It's like the Wonder Forest. These guys are all taking up the Wonder Forest, okay? And so. If one dude sends an attack at me and burns me, and let's say, let's say like Bren Chong sends an attack and everybody from A2Z sends an attack at me, if once one of those attacks burn me, it ports me out of the forest, and once you port, all the other troops that were going to come hit you, hit you instantly, right? And then I would get zeroed out. So that's the reason why I'm not going to trap during this right here. First off, it's too hectic, and second off, um, it's just, it's a shit show, bro. And I don't know, man. My my end of the my end of the day thoughts. I don't appreciate it. I just don't. There's too much Chinese fake money being spent right now, and there's guys that are like legitimately trying to play the game and trying to get ahead, but they can't. And you guys can call me complaining or whining or crying, whatever you want to call me. Right? I have nothing to prove, guys. I I fucking smoke millions upon hundreds of millions of might, um, weekly, right? I destroy that much. I don't lose that much. I destroy that much between my two accounts, right? And so I have nothing to prove there. It's just that it's a fucking bummer, bro, because you'll never, never get the opportunity to do this because of all that Chinese fake money, bro. And I keep saying Chinese fake money because it's the truth. It's literally the truth. They, they lit, just, just Google it. Google hacked Apple gift cards, and I can guarantee you that 99% of the guys here are on Apple devices. Coincidence? Who knows, right? Who knows? But what I do know is that I do not believe for not one second that there's this many multi-millionaires or just millionaires, I think multi-millionaires, that are doing this. Oh, by the way, they're, rally, they're rallying this guy down. Why would they do that? That makes no sense. It would make no sense, right? Man, that's crazy. I'm just going to smoke this guy. That's funny. Maybe to cause extra damage, make him expend more resources. I really don't know. But what I do know is that it's a fucking bummer, bros. And it kind of gets me down a lot. It really does because I would love to do these kinds of things. But the fact of the matter is, bro, once you poured in, if you're not like a billion might and you don't come correct, bro, they're just going to rally you down. And that's simple as that. Or they're going to solo you down, one of the two. And these guys, like I said, I, I really do believe that 99.99999% of these guys are on that fake Chinese money. I don't know. I'm dragging this video. I really shouldn't. But I don't know, man. Look, if you share my frustration about stuff like this, then, you know, let me know in the comments, bros. Let me know what you guys think about that, right? Because right now, it's just a shit show. And they say, it's madness. It's crazy. These guys are da 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 bro. They, they probably are spending maybe... $20 to do all of this when it would cost one of us several hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars to keep up. They, they spend pennies on the dollar compared to what we spend in order to do all this stuff right here. And they reward, they reward this kind of stuff with um, amazing fucking gear, bro. Like amazing gear, like amazing gear. This stuff is overpowered as fuck, bro. This is, this completely beats any champion piece you could ever get, including all the accessories. 
and they'll make a full set like this. So they encourage the fake Chinese money spending and players that are trying to actually legitimately do it. They got to pay like a hefty, hefty, hefty price. IGG doesn't give a fuck, bro, because they make money regardless, right? They say, hey, Apple, we have all these codes you need to pay us for and Apple pays them, right? But anyway, so I'm not trying to down on IGG. I'm just wishing that they would segregate it somehow so you can put the Chinese on one side and the American slash whatever else you want on the other side. Because I can guarantee you once that happens, the game will actually become like, quite fun again. And then you'll see a big difference in power shifting. But anyways, though, guys, you all know what I'm talking about, though. Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by and spending some of your quality time to hang out with me today. And in case you guys are wondering right now, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me, bro, what are the... Look, here's my troop composition. I'm at 4.2 million. I, I, I took a big hit, and I'm almost fully recovered now. Uh, let's see here. 1.5 million. Yes, I'm all T1s except for 247k uh, T3 ranged because I don't got to heal those guys. I would gladly convert these sharpshooters to that as well. But eventually, I'm going to take these stealth snipers and sharpshooters and put them into archers. But currently, in case you guys are curious, if you've made it this far in the video, what I'm doing with all my gems, I'm actually buying um, legendary jewels, right? Oh, I'm going to try to go for it because um, it makes more sense right now. To have, um, to have really, really good jewels, you know, in my gear. Because my war gear is pretty solid, bros. I know, I know. We're just dragging the video out. I know, guys. But what's whatever, right? Look, if I had legendary jewels on here, my gear would be banging. Like, banging, banging. It's already really good as it is. Like, it's really good. I'm missing some attacks on my items. Otherwise, you'd be different. But anyways, though, guys. Um, I'm also making... I know, I'm kind of squeezing everything in here. Because I know a lot of you guys... I'm not going to make a video until Monday, right? And so, um, a lot of guys are always wondering, what are you making? Yada, 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 bro. We're already making our level 60 gear. So, I'm going to use a firewall breastplate, right, as my level 60 gear. Uh, it, it, it's better than this is by a little bit. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. I am making three blight rings to blue. I can make one purple or three blues. But anyways, though, guys, there's there's stuff in the works. You know, I'm just not, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just a little disgruntled, that's all. And if I sound like I'm pissed off or I'm sounding like I'm complaining too much, I do apologize, bros. It's not my intentions to do that. But you guys got to understand that the game to me is fun because it's kind of even playing field to a certain degree. But once the game is just completely, like, full of cheaters, essentially, bro, I just stop fucking playing. Because I would rather play a, a game that you can't cheat in than a bunch of a game with a bunch of cheaters. And, yes, I consider spending that Chinese fake money um, cheating, in my opinion. Because you're not it's not available to everybody else. You're getting a very unfair advantage. But anyways, though, guys, um, sorry for the long video. Yeah, let me know if you guys made it through. Let me know uh, Let me know if you guys, uh, what your thoughts are about that Chinese fake money. But I got to go cook for my church, guys. So y'all take it easy and um, stay classy. No. You know what we're doing? It's blooper time. No, I'm just kidding.